Thanks for joining us for Bright Ideas, brought to you by a partnership between Acuity Brands and Industrial Sage. Today we examine a technology trend, designing controls and sensors within lighting fixtures. I'm joined by Mark Lane and Dennis Hoskins, helping drive the controls product management team at Acuity Brands. Mark, let's start with you. Why embedded controls? Well, Catherine, I'd like to first start out by saying why controls, right? Why do people need controls? And the big two reasons why is for energy savings and for code compliance. Um, so those are gonna get you, number one, whatever part of the country you're in, you're gonna get to meet those codes that are necessary. But on top of that is energy savings, and there's a big piece of that for controls. And it's not just LEDs where you can get some of that savings. There's a lot that you can get out of controls and even more with embedded. So I'd like to maybe offer up three reasons why um, that we, we, see, we feel like uh, embedded controls is, is a good fit. So first, um, when you talk about the product and the construction of it, we've got AC voltage here in our infrastructure in the world that we live in. Controls are made with DC voltage. So that's the easiest way to make the product. It makes it the most efficient and robust. Um, but because of that AC world that we live in, we have to work with that. We have to design controls around that. We have to protect for surge and EMI. We have to take that AC voltage in for our, our device to power it. Right. When you embed it into a control, we actually have uh, a driver within an LED today that's already doing this conversion. They're already converting AC to DC voltage. And since they're on that AC voltage, they're able to see the surge and EMI. They're able to protect against that. So we're already kind of doing that within the luminaire. So we can kind of eliminate that and have it powered off the driver and we just take all that functionality out. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, with lighting controls, we have things called relays that we need in order to turn the lights on and off. It's a mechanical component. It's the most likely to fail. Um, so, so this component is, is really kind of a reliability challenge in a lot of control devices. Um, but when you're embedded into a luminaire, you've got direct connect connection to that luminaire. So you can literally have communication back and forth with that luminaire. And that allows you to eliminate that relay. Um, now we're just communicating back and forth whether we want the light to be on or off. And it simplifies it so much easier. So we're literally taking cost out of the product that we then pass along to the customer. Right, so right away you've already created material savings essentially to the end customer, but I imagine combining these two technologies into one device, there's more savings to there that, that can be sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the second thing's interoperability savings. So we're taking two products, we're marrying them together into one. And it's really important for the contractor on the job because today they're out there, they've got to install the controls, they've got to install the luminaires, and they're responsible for them working together because they've got to deliver a product that works at the end of the day that they can pass off to the customer. Any time involved in that whole, in that whole um, process of putting them together and making sure they work, it's on the contractor, it's their time, and time is money. Mm -hmm. So it's important that that go very smoothly. However, if you've been in the lighting industry for a while, you've probably got a horror story where Controls didn't work with this fixture. There was flickering, strobing, lights turning on and off. They weren't doing what they were supposed to. Right. And it's up to the contractor to figure that out. They've got to call the, both manufacturers. They've got to hope that those people are not pointing fingers at each other, saying, you're the problem, you're the problem. So all this, at the end of the day, is a lot of work on the contractor. But when you move to an embedded control, you eliminate that because now, we're delivering one product that's been tested and guaranteed to work as one product. Mm -hmm. So number one, you eliminate you know, having to go to two different manufacturers. You just go to one if you have any problems. But on top of that, I mean, we're, we're, we're guaranteeing and testing this as one product and we work um, to make that a reality. One of the things that I love about working at Acuity is the fact that you know the end light and sensor switch teams are working with Lithonia teams and Hall of Fame teams and all the other uh, teams that, that are represented in Acuity to make sure that these products work together. Uh, so, so you know I have face-to-face -face discussions with product managers, engineering teams working together. We literally share the same building 
so we can walk up to each other and just have these discussions and really make sure that the product is working correctly. It's one product. And at the end of the day, what's important is, is not that we as a company are successful, but that we are, de are delivering that value to the customer and they're getting that benefit of having an embedded control where they eliminate all that time right. spent. Right, it seems like that embedded solution, that testing that's done when it's all embedded into one device, it instills a lot of confidence in the contractor, but I imagine there's probably more benefits than that. Can you guys elaborate? Sure, so when you're talking why embedded controls, the two reasons Mark mentioned are great, but this third one might be the greatest, installation savings. So if you think about it, the way controls and luminaires ship today is they ship separately. So you go to a job site and you have luminaire and you have a control. And those, controllers ha those controls have uh, sensors, they have load controllers. So it's all separate. Think about your contractor, you go to a site and uh, you, when you get there, suddenly it's, something's missing. Because when you're shipping those separately, they're being shipped in separate boxes. They're being shipped potentially from separate companies. And then all of a sudden you can't figure out where things are, makes things very difficult. With embedded controls, it all ships together. You all have it in, in one box. It's easy to install. You don't have to worry about hanging things like junction boxes and how to wire things up and, and where things need to go. It's all there. It's all ready for you. And installing that luminaire, it's no different. You just wire, wire it for power and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And so once the product is installed, what about the people in the space? What are the benefits to them? Yeah, there's a lot of applications that we serve, but one that I would bring up as maybe an example here is, is hospitals. Mm -hmm. So in hospitals, you've got obviously the people working there and, and they need to have a good experience um, with lighting, but the people who are there as patients it can be pretty important. And um, this is where, you know, you can probably put yourself into their shoes and imagine yourself in a patient room. And imagine that patient room, I mean, there's probably multiple people in that room, right? Um, how great would it be if they could have individual control over the fixtures right above them in their space? Mm -hmm. With embedded controls, you get that. You get that granularity of control that you can fine tune and adjust that fixture to exactly what you want. Other manufacturers with, with controls being separate, it's, it's going to be very expensive to try to do that, number one, to put all those devices in there. Um, and, and because of that, it might not even be uh, something that the hospital even chooses to implement. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of, a lot of benefits um, to the person who's in that space, who's in that situation that we probably take for granted. Um, just having the fact that we you know, work with uh, elder-led drivers, which are providing a really high quality of light, they're flicker-free, um, they, they do dim to dark, um, so someone who's sitting in that, in that uh, hospital bed or laying down, they can adjust that light level precisely to what they need to make them most comfortable. Because I could imagine that in that situation, all the small things really do matter to helping you feel better. And it isn't, it isn't just in hospitals, right? It's also all the places where we work and live. So having embedded sensors gives you a lot of, a lot of flexibility. So let's say you have six panels installed in a ceiling and they all have uh, motion sensors. It detects that motion as people are in those rooms and they overlap, so it gives you a lot of coverage. And in today's world, that's really, that's really good to know because it helps decrease HVAC burdens um, by not having to run, you know, maybe the electricity or the uh, heating wires, people are in the room. Right. And it also gives, lets you know when people are gonna be in or out of that room so you can safely disinfect it. These are all very powerful use cases in today's world. Well, thank you both for joining us today. It definitely sounds like embedded controls offer some great benefits to the contractor, distributor, and that end user. Join us for our next episode. Mark and Dennis are going to return, and we're going to connect the dots of wireless controls.